IKEA's range of smart products is expanding rapidly and includes some of the best value Zigbee devices around. If you're using Home Assistant instead of IKEA's own Smart Hub though, then you might be missing out on one critical feature, dimming lights using their smart switches. Well, there is a workaround and I'm going to show you how that works in this video. All of IKEA's trad-free light bulbs support dimming, and if you've got them connected to Home Assistant then you can probably adjust their brightness levels using your phone anyway. But it's usually a lot more convenient to control the brightness using a physical button on the wall. IKEA sell three different types of remotes or buttons that can be used to set the brightness of your lights, and as luck would have it, I have all of them here to show you. At the cheapest end of the range is their trad-free wireless dimmer. It's got just two buttons and you can hold down each of them and they'll send a brightness up or down command to the Zigbee controller. They also sell this one called the Stire Bar. It has four physical buttons on it and all four of them support being held down for a long press too. The two light buttons at the top and bottom though are ones that will send the brightness commands to the controller. Uh, this set of buttons is a bit different to the others because it uses two AAA batteries instead of a coin cell battery that the other ones use. I think that these are the best looking out of all of them though and you can get them in white or stainless steel for a bit more money. Lastly, there's this one, which I don't think they actually sell anymore. Um, it's a shame because it's got this one massive power button in the middle um, and these four buttons around the outside. Now, all of them support a long press and these ones at the top and the bottom support the brightness control. Um, the only issue with this one is when it was sitting on the wall, you could never always quite tell which way up it was supposed to be. So you get the... Uh, get the buttons around the edge mixed up. I'm using Zigbee to MQTT as my Zigbee controller and I have it installed as an add-on in Home Assistant. I prefer this to Home Assistant's built-in ZHA because it supports literally every device I've ever connected to it and it also means I can restart Home Assistant without my Zigbee network reconverging. Anyway, in Zigbee to MQTT, amongst the settings for the IKEA buttons is an option for enabling something called simulated brightness. So here's my device list in the Zigbee to MQTT interface. And if I just do a quick search for my bedroom button here and click on it, uh, if I click on the settings specific tab, you can see this simulated brightness section here. I can't remember what the defaults are here for the interval, but a default delta of 20 is fine and a half second interval or 500 milliseconds seems to work well. That basically means that when you press the brightness up or down buttons, it will keep track of a fake brightness value for you. If you click on the state tab, you can actually see that fake brightness value here. Uh, I'll just highlight it for you there. Uh, it's important to remember that the brightness value is stored by the switch and not the bulb. Now that you know that, it's time to make use of that in an automation. I'm going to show you the automation that I use with the four button Stire Bar remote and I've called that Oliver's Bedroom Button. So take a look at these triggers at the top here. This first one triggers when the button action has an attribute of brightness. Now note at the top here that I've given it a trigger ID of brightness too. Using trigger IDs means that we can have multiple triggers in this automation. And later on in the actions, we only call those actions associated with this trigger. This means that you don't need separate automations for each of the buttons on this remote, just one automation instead of four or more. There's also a trigger for when the button action turns on and another one that uh, triggers when it turns off. You'll see that they both have trigger IDs of off and on uh, accordingly. I'll collapse those for now. Down in the action section, if I expand that here, you can see that if the on button is pressed, then it toggles the bedroom light. This isn't an IKEA bulb, it's actually a Z-Wave switch module, but it doesn't really matter. All I'm trying to demonstrate here is that you can use this remote to control loads of different devices, all in the same automation. 
The second set of actions is triggered if you press the off button and that toggles the bedside light on or off. Um, this is a, an IKEA trad-free bulb in this case, uh, but so far nothing special here. So the on button toggles the main light and the off button toggles the bedside light. Let's get onto the interesting part, controlling the brightness. Now this is where the GUI stops being useful unfortunately. Uh, when a brightness button action is received, uh, which you do by holding down the on or off buttons with a long press, then this action is executed. It calls the light.turnon service targeting the IKEA light bulb and passing in the simulated brightness value from the physical switch. Remember that the switch itself is storing the required brightness value and all we're doing here is sending that value to the bulb. I've given it a transition time of 0.4 seconds too, which smooths out the change because otherwise it jumps in steps, which looks a bit weird. It really is that simple, but there's a small gotcha that you need to remember. If you start adjusting the brightness using something else like the Home Assistant dashboard or app or HomeKit, then the brightness of the bulb will be out of sync with the simulated brightness setting in the switch. When that happens, if you use the physical switch again, the brightness level of the bulb will jump around to suddenly match the previously stored simulated brightness level. It'll sort itself out after that, but I thought I should mention it because it can be unexpected. Just to show you this in action, if I start by turning on the bulb, I can then dim the bulb by holding down the off button again, which sends the brightness down command, or I can hold down the on button, which should send the brightness up command. You can expand on this automation to listen for triggers from the left and right arrow buttons too if you wished, but I've not included those here so as you can easily apply this automation to the standard IKEA dimmer button, which doesn't have those buttons. Anyway, I'll stick the automation code up on my website and link to that in the description. If you found this video useful then please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. Thank you for watching, goodbye.